Hello everyone, it is Speed Racer of Speed Racer 456 V Productions coming to you with my review of Movie 1 Legends Class Optimus. So let's get this show on the road and you join me now in beautiful 720 HD. Yeah, I'm filming in um, 720 HD instead of 180, primarily because with 720, I can at least zoom in and out, so you be doing this. It's really irritating, despite the fact that the zoom is really, really slow. But, uh, anyway. So, yeah, and just real quick, here's a height comparison of the three Optimus figures side by side. Look how tiny he is compared to the Dark of the Moon Optimus. I mean, just... I mean, look, that's not... Fail Hasbro. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but at least the Revenge of the Fallen Optimus actually gives a valiant attempt of standing proud next to the Cypher's Command Class Optimus. Despite the fact that, you know, this guy just kicks both of their asses. Well, yeah, but we're not here to talk about him. We're not here to talk about him. We are here to talk about this dude. So, yeah. And no, the camera isn't sinking, it's just me resting my tripod on my leg. Well, yeah, well, what can I say about this guy? Well, you've already seen that he's really, really small, and that's just about it. There's nothing else. However, they did get the chest sculpting. Very, very nice. I don't see if you can see that. Let me try and get into uh, focus. Uh, it's not focusing. Uh, well, I suppose that's why I care for buying a camera that was £80. Well, yeah, it is a bit fuzzy, but that is an actual um, movie-accurate chest. That's the, whoops, that's the only good thing about this figure. That is the only movie accurate thing about this figure. I kid you not. So as for the transformation, I'm going to try and do this one-handed, seeing as I'm supporting my camera with the other. It's fairly simple. You, uh, take the lower half of the leg, fold it around, take the upper half of him, fold it up, Take the arms, rotate them up and around. Oh well, you rotate them around as so and as so until you look something like that. And bring the two sides of the cab up. And together. And oh right, I never actually thought that I could do that. Well, I knew I could transform him quite quickly. Well, that took me like, what, less than 10 seconds to transform him? Well, I say 10 seconds, I exaggerate a little bit. I'd say at least 30 seconds for me to transform him from vehicle mode to, to robot, uh, from robot mode to vehicle mode with just my one hand. So, yeah, so there he is in vehicle mode, and the vehicle mode is also too really, really small. Because... If I bring in a vehicle like Movie 1 Legends Ratchet, that's not right. That is not in scale. Okay, or, or more to the point, the head-on. Let me just bring in Dark of the Moon. So this kind of class side swipe. You see, that's not right, okay? That is not right for an Optimus Prime figure, and I'm completely, completely gutted. Uh, overall rating for this figure, a 4, yeah, 4 out of 10. I suppose it could have done better, but nonetheless, this was Hasbro's first attempt. So yeah, until next time, which will, which will be my review of Revenge of the Fallen Cyberverse, Legion Sideswipe.
This has been Speed Racer of Speed Racer 456V Productions saying thank you for watching. Goodbye.